diversity. Food. There are spices to really change the flavor and make something that previously I would have thought is bland to a taste that I enjoy. I then begin to see even a broader base of perspectives. And I think when it comes to diversity, and particularly in the business world, there's the opportunity to learn from completely different perspective than I may have myself. Simon Sinek says the reason that diversity is so powerful and so meaningful is because of different points of views, different things that people bring to the table. As long as one thing is in place, they all share the same values and the same vision for the company. This is why it's so important that you have mission statements, because right? then no matter what the background is, you're sharing a direction of what you're going together as. I grew up in Bay Area of California. My street that I grew up on as a kid, the most diverse place, and it was great. I tried all different foods growing up. We didn't do religion in my house, but then I had friends that were Catholic and Christian and Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons and Muslim and Buddhist. We all hung out. We played football in the streets. We had fun. We played basketball. And so as I've traveled the world, it's been very interesting to see that that's not how everybody grew up. Sometimes I feel like the whole world should act like my dad's house. My dad had one rule. Just don't be a jerk. You can believe what you want. You can be who you're going to be. You can love who you want to love. I want you in my house. If you're respectful and you're a great person, please come have dinner with me. But if you're a jerk and you're a jackass, get the fuck out of here. And you could be a jackass that believes everything I believe. Still get the fuck out, right? It's natural for us, particularly in America, to think so much about demographics. But diversity, that's why I like that cooking example, right? And how I spice things up to create a different flavor. You do the same thing with the team and you have these different skill sets that really help hone into, like, do I need a second or third or fourth leader that's really great at strategy when the weakness on the team is coaching and development? Then probably I want to target that person so that I can balance my team out. You know, when I've traveled internationally, and I realize I am in a completely different environment because the demographics have completely shifted. When it, it helped me really open my eyes significantly to the value that other people have based off of their experience, their education, their insights, their culture, and how particularly me as a leader wants to bring that into my team so that I can be successful and I can help other people be successful and we can all win together and move. What I found is whenever you put limitations on your views, limitations on your thoughts and limitations on your expectations, you get limited outcomes. But I'm also a strong believer that you have the right to believe and be whoever you want, even if that means being an asshole. But the more limited your thought process is and the more unaccepting you are, the less well-rounded and the best individual you can be from a personal level. And from a business perspective, the less capabilities you'll have as a global possibility as well. Those companies that have a, a more equal balance of men and women make 41% more in revenue. Teams that are racially diverse have 35% performance increased compared to their competitors. Teams that are diverse, that are trying to capitalize markets, 70% better success. And then when it comes to making better decisions, 87% better. So the reality is there is nothing that supports separation to be a better outcome. Day one, as I started working in a contact center, is how diverse that environment is. And it doesn't matter as much how you look, so it really comes down to the ability to use words, follow processes, tools and systems, and your tone, right? And how you communicate. I think that's one of the things I learned to actually value is the fact that there is so much diversity. Honestly, I, I never worked in a place before that had so many people that... <clears throat> were gay or lesbian or trans or bisexual, that part of the game didn't really matter across the board. And this is going back well more than a decade. Things were changing. This is before in the US, gay marriage was legal. And I found that incredible because it really helped me understand that there can be places that are brought together easily 
in terms of where diversity can make a big difference. And at that point, it really then begins to go to and someone's performance is really based off of their skill set versus demographic factors. And something I've always valued and always appreciated as I've continued to grow as a leader within that business. Again, Ray Dalio, everybody has blind spots. And some of those blind spots are, are related to demographics. And they're taught culturally all across the world in different ways. But the fact is, if we know we have blind spots and you bring somebody on your team that can help see that blind spot that I can't see, that's going to help the team grow. And that's where diversity matters. Keeping your mind open to everything. And that's even the things that you might not have ever thought were part of it. And again, we'd love to hear from our community. And if you haven't done it already, like and subscribe. Oh,